Hello everybody, welcome back to some farming and friends. I'm just doing the usual milking the cows, doing the chores, try to get uh, getting all that taken care of. I think today though, we are going to do a bit of a base tour, our uh, farm tour or whatever of how I have it set up. Um, I did have a few requests of that. So with that being said, I do have to uh, move my truck because it is full say 50 out of 50 so um how i have this set up basically i just drive straight ahead and yeah we just go through cows <laughs> a little bit before the end of the uh fence there so i can get up in there to hit e go e and then i do f to go back into my truck and then i go over here straight across and i push q and i deposit come back Back straight up onto the pad. And hop out. Tend to go over along this side on the fence. Sometimes Balto or my dog comes out. So then I try to hop back through. Normally I don't have to worry about any of the cows getting out this way. I might later put some uh, roadway down here, but I don't know. I don't think it's too much of an issue. We do get to where we need it. So, uh, so yeah, I think I have one more, one or two cows I have to finish up here. And then, um, work on getting the rest. Okay, Betsy, I think it was strawberry. Yeah, all right. I have 14 cows. So normally, oops. Well, they weren't coming. I gotta put these in. This is one cool thing. You can actually hold both of them now. I just push V and they both load. You should never be that way. You had to drop off and do one at a time. But get all these. Come on guys, get away from me, get all the There we go. Alright. That'll be good just for a moment here. Put this one, then we'll get them and put... So when your tankers get full, I have an auto uh barn uh, auto loader barn or whatever but once your tanker's full then it puts the containers out here if you don't have an auto loader barn you're going to have to uh do what i'm doing right now and that is no you don't have to clean up the stall but you'll have to take all the containers uh you can see i do um you'll have to carry them out so you still have to milk, but see, I don't have any of the containers to pop in. So, I need to get, all right. So with my 14, that gives me 40, when I do a full cycle, it gives me 42 uh, in my tanker. So I basically, if you, oh, if you never watched the, uh, any of my channel, welcome to Delive Crescer's channel. I'll give you the quick red down here. Let me get this taken on. There we go. All right. So, yes, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome to the Live Grocer channel. This is Farming and Friends. Uh, if you like any of the videos on the channel, give them a thumbs up. If you want to comment down below, if you ask a question or something like that, that's how I found out uh, about the uh, getting a base tour or a farm tour go ahead comment down below i do my best to read them it might take a day or two for me to reply but get them back get replied back to you and last but not least if you have yet to subscribe hit that subscribe button we are working our way up to 500 subscribers and beyond uh don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so that will let you know the next time a video has been uploaded as well as the awesome live streams that we all get to enjoy and interact in with that being said, uh, yeah, I'll show you here real quick. So right now I have 13, so I should just empty this right now. You know what I'm going to? Because I'll be set back up to 42 each time. So, cue, deposit, deposit. Cool thing when I get free range, um, so I am a, I say a chocolate milk farmer because that's what I 
mainly harvest. I do have some crops in the back uh, 40 there that uh, I am starting with, but I'm not fully done there yet, but we'll show you here. So this is basically my uh, cocoa factory, chocolate factory, not cocoa factory, chocolate factory. It takes regular milk. If you deposit free range milk, it will double what you're dropping off. So here I brought that 15, that made 26, that 50 made 100. I got 230 things of milk. It looks like it holds 600 and I got 500 out of 1500 for the cocoa. So basically all you do is you just come in here and you hit the levers to start everything. So it also has a tanker outside here. I need to flip. Oh, there is a chocolate milk there. All right, let's see here. Let's hook that one up. Back it up. Back it up. We're going to go forward. We've got three of them in here. How many more do I need in my storage container? So I have a bigger storage building now. I bought that bigger one to give a nice uh, show you all. It was one of the new storage compartment or buildings they had. It's two doors it opens. This is basically my chocolate milk storage outside of putting them into the tanker. So I need one, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and we're gonna pull the lever here. Let's see here. 500, there's 25 for each cocoa. So that would be 220, 230s. So I should have 30 left. I'll get 20 containers. So we'll put the rest in. So yeah, you might ask, why do I have a container, um, like a storage barn, and have chocolate milk? Well, sometimes people help out on the farm, so what better way to pay them with is with some chocolate milk. And there's the thing, cocoa, 25 cocoa, 10 milk makes one barrel. This is how I have reached the majority of my money that you see. Uh, I started off just doing regular cows and then uh, I went to getting enough money, got the Expo 3220 that harvests the, the cocoa and then I uh, ended up uh, getting the cocoa field planted and the rest is history. I just started making chocolate milk. So, there is a downfall to doing chocolate milk, though. It's nice for the price. I mean, can't get that wrong. I mean, sell these normally for anywhere 20000 on up per container. So, I'll show you that real quick here. Let's see here. Do I have them all? I think I do. 6, 12, 18. 18 would be 36. There's six would be 42 and they're 1254. Hmm. It's not too bad. All right, we'll close them up. All right, so that's all done. We're gonna get these all put into this chocolate milk container. Oh, I should put, well, we'll fill up this one first, then we'll switch it over to that big one. takes 10. Right. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. They'll both fill up here. So I'll switch this one over once the other one gets full. There we go. Alright. 
Oh yeah, let me get this one backed up in here. And we'll go back to uh, doing some more... Oh, far. Uh, one of the other things I have to also do when I'm doing all this, let's get... And that should, like I said, be down to 30 left, I think, in my milk. Yeah. And nothing for cocoa. Uh, my cocoa field is actually 400 cocoa plants. Whoa, guys. Wow, I didn't think I was that long. Three, four, five, five. Uh, oh, I don't have Balto. Care Balto. Yeah. You guys, like, filled up all the way. No, I wasn't full. So that was 51. Anybody else over here ready to be milked? Uh, you'll be milked by the time you get to the barn, so you, uh, you aren't ready yet. So let's go ahead and... I also have three chickens. The chickens was really not mine. Somebody else I was playing the game with wanted to use my uh, hauler uh, for animals because they didn't have an animal hauler at the time. And when they went to haul the animals... Since it was my trailer, they were my animals then. So they couldn't drop them off on their farm. Which was unfortunate, but so I contributed to my Larry, Moe, and Curly. Oh, that's almost almost there. Right. Yeah, we'll do them both. Wait for you to get back. That was full. That can go. That one needs to just go right back out. So this is like the never-ending 10. Go back out. Oh, somebody messed in the stall. Okay, there we go. Stall's clean. How are you? You are at 95. So yeah, it's a never-ending process of, uh, you know, the whole cycle. You do it and come on, you get back. Yeah, let's see here. What do we got here? Three, let go, let you go, and this is just good. Yeah, but like I say, it's a never ending thing to, uh, oh, you're gonna make it one off for me, spots. Okay, go out and eat. I'll have to remember to take you back in and get your milk for one. Where's that dog? Where's that dog? Uh, Two cows there. Oh, it's empty. Fill up. Uh, 49, you're getting ready to go eat. Uh, you're getting ready to eat, then we'll put you up. Okay. I guess. A feed. So, yeah, you had to fill your animals, stuff like that. Again, yeah, it's a never-ending process. Freckles. I don't think I was at all eight of you. So we'll get you in the barn too. Yeah. Might as well get you in the barn as well. Normally I cycle with doing, oh, it's because I had done the, uh, Truck probably. Normally I get done with this and we go right to uh, doing the crops. So. It doesn't take too long to do the crops. I think around like five minutes, I think it is. Whoa. Okay, you can go back out, walk. That we'll see if I can keep strawberry in long enough to get locked. I need to get spots still. That's safe here at full. 92, 93, we're spots. Let's 
see if strawberry is done. Up to 100. 95. 98. Oh, it's going to be a close one. Going to be a close one. So, like I was saying, though, uh, this is a downfall of uh, having the, the animals. You got to take care of them. Where if, and if you're doing just crops, you don't have to worry about it. You can let your crops set for a while and go back and harvest them. No big deal. So, um, yeah, uh, that's, just, that's just one of the things that you got to take in consideration if you're doing milk. 36, I got two more cows to do somewhere. Oh, there's one Betsy. Oh, there we go. Walk. All right, get these last two milked and then we'll get get going on this tour. I should do my, uh, show you the cocoa field too. Give you a little tip on how I guess I run my farm. I mean, everybody does stuff different, but this is the craftsman barn right here. And you gotta buy the feeders for the animals. I have them spaced out. Uh, somebody like some of them like just having in one row so then it could just go down the line but i got them all space there and then i just set what i buy i just set them up in this corner so i can grab it but i do have the storage as well in my small bit or my small little barns sheds not barns sheds last one here Oh yeah, so they have little tips that show up over there like they're talking about the animals. If they go off your farm, you will lose them. Dogs are the only ones that's the exception. All right. So this should be 42 now. There we go, 42. Drive it up here, jump out. Open. Get back in the truck. Drive it straight on over. I'll push Q, deposit, and we'll back it up. And I am on a PC, so I do not know what it's like for people that are playing on mobile devices. Alright, so all those are done. So that's how I, I basically do it. And these are the two sheds I was talking about. So I do have a nice little storage of uh, animal feed. If I decide not to go and get it from the store, normally I grab some when I uh, take my eggs back. And I also have a trailer here with a whole thing of animal feed. And my other UTV there. I kept this one, other one red just for... I don't know why. Just decided to keep it red. Sort of looks sharp. Oh, a little yawn there. So... So yeah, that's the whole thing. And then I, of course, you got to put um, a fencing around for so they don't get out. So I know some people put chickens in their own little pen, but I put it together. I do have a nice little on uh, this part of the farm that I just ran into. I have a log cabin. But right now, if, uh, in done games, you cannot furnish this. I try to furnish it with the build. If I try to put furniture, let's just try to put a lamp. See, it's red. It's like it's too high up on the area or something. So I'm hoping eventually they'll get this fixed. Done games, if you're watching my video, please fix the uh, the issue with uh, furniture in the cabin. Because you can't even uh, uh, end the cancel. You can't even put like I was trying to even put a rocking chair. Let's see here, like. Yeah, I'll just do this one. My rocking chair. You can't even put a rocking chair out here. No rocking chair on the porch. No. It's just. So, so yeah. I'm not able to furnish it yet. I do have a couple benches out here that you can sit back and you can just relax. And watch the day go by. I'm eventually, I think, going to make this area here 
like maybe a drive-in entrance kind of thing and I'll have parking or something maybe I'll put a uh, fountain or something in the middle I don't know um, get some shrubs I need to make me a few spots that people I've seen it in other ones they're like little uh, places you can sit at people's um, as you're driving down the road like little parks kind of do so yes this is my cocoa field uh, basically what I do with that is um, is I got my crafts and garage here and on this side I have my oxbow 3220 which is the only thing that harvests the uh, cocoa plants so um, do you have uh, for right now I've got this one's almost empty got some pallets of seed I was handing out but it looks like most people just want to have gifted a thing of cabbage and we do have a couple others we got a flatbed we got a um, green hauler that has 800 I think in it uh, for trucks some of my older equipment that I need to actually get rid of because we do have bigger more equipment now so that will probably get taken out of this one and I'll just have my oxbow in here and maybe the the seed and my flatbed so that being said this is where I just have my little hauler this holds 400 I'll hook it up with the truck and then I just bring it around once I get this fully uh, all the 400 crop taken out we'll drive it over here Let's just show you what I normally do I'm not gonna I run out of time and we just load her up into there and then uh, deposit it and I come back around I've got to get some more road here I think I'm gonna go straight here and I'm going to then turn it up to where it would be a two lane here and then uh, bring it back around here to where you can just pull it into this both of those so yeah that's that with that we do have some grain bins here but they're all full of cocoa so that's how I got that set up so sort of like a big circle and then I've got a couple of uh, pavilions craftsman pavilions this one holds my big uh, flat or no not this one has my big uh, trailer for animals as well as my big grain hauler and this is where you would get your uh, grain out or your seed out I did purchase the big warehouse and I put that in the middle of all this problem is, is getting everything in and out you need a big area to, like turn so that's why I have this big like roadway but this holds pretty much everything you can think of I got yeah pretty empty here there's space in the back so I haven't put anything back there I don't know if I'll put seed or something back there or feed or what but uh, we've got, got my old truck there with the trailer, got the semi, got a little office here too. I'm going to have to see about furnishing it. There's nothing in it. But uh, yeah. It is a big warehouse. It fits a lot of stuff. One of the things I do have that I put in here, and I must not have put it back is oh and then here's another um this is all my chocolate milk area so i've got my big tanker there and my flatbed there and then these small ones i got all the smaller ones i turned them that way so this is all my establishment where i back up and hook up my bin and then we head straight out and you take them to the area to deposit to get money and I normally sell my cocoa or my chocolate milk when it's either at rainbow price. So right now it's like at a neutral price. As you can tell, it's like a little bit over 20,000. I don't ever go below 20,000. So, and then eggs are really low. But I normally wait until it's like 22. I believe it's 24 for rainbow crop, I think. 24, 25. And that's 2.5 million for one of the hundred. So when it finally gets to it, that's how you can see. 
And on the back here, I get, there's I got the big uh, harvester. Uh, here's some of my uh, back 40 plot, I call it. Uh, this one's 200, I believe. Uh, I'll probably extend it further and make a 400. I don't know if I could get 600. The reason is, is the cedar is a 600 seed cedar. And so is that harvester over there is 600. So I could just do a straight all the way down and back. So that's the reason why. But right now we start off at 200. So that's basically my whole establishment. I mean, you could do whatever you like with uh, things. I do know I had to put down a lot of this uh, roadway before I put the via or put the like pavilion, the warehouse stuff on top. You can't take it all the way up because it's there just isn't enough. We're supposed to be redoing their UI and that. But yeah, that's that's basically the whole uh, whole farm tour. I mean, mine's like I said, I'm mainly a chocolate milk farmer so I have my cocoa plants right there and then I have my cows over on the other corner that being said yeah that's that's it and then I've got my chocolate milk factory back there so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this got what you uh, wanted out of the whole tutorial uh, but yeah you know building on it you it's your own little plot you know you, you find the ways to uh, run that whole circle the whole uh, your chores kind of thing uh, the routine uh, because that's how you end up making the money and that to buy other things so with that being said thank you all for uh, Take a little, what, let's see, you're about 27 minutes out of your day to just enjoy this nice little, uh, farm, uh, would be, that would be a farm tutorial, farm, I have to think of the word, but just visiting my farm and seeing how it all runs. I do truly appreciate all of you here. Don't forget to get out there to do those things that inspire you, that make you feel good inside, that put that smile on your face, because you know what? You're amazing, all of you. Until next time, everybody, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.